China has maintained very high economic growth over the last 20 years, and has become a major economic power. It has spent heavily on military build-up, and modernized its military forces. In recent times, China has been very aggressive in its posturing. South China Sea Dispute China has reclaimed land through artificial methods, and set up airstrip for military use in disputed islands of South China Sea. Brunei, Malaysia, the Philippines, and Vietnam have claims to these islands, but have been shrugged aside by China. Non-claimants like USA, India, Australia and Japan want the South China Sea to remain as international waters with freedom of navigation, whereas, China want to control this major trade way. Dispute with India In the past two to three years, Chinese troops have frequently strayed inside India's side of LOC. After a number of frequent incursions in Ladakh area, Chinese People's Liberation Army troops have been spotted at forward posts along the LOC on the Pakistani side of Kashmir. Also, they have built up massive infrastructure along the LOC, which can be very useful for troop movement in case of a conflict with India. Here is list of steps taken by USA. 1. The US sailed a guided missile destroyer within 12 nautical miles of the artificial islands, the first in a series of actions planned to assert freedom of navigation in the region. 2. The Pentagon has designed a new strategy for the 21st century, called Air-Sea Battle, a concept that combines air and naval forces to punch through the increasingly formidable defenses of nations like China. 3. An important part of air-sea battle calls for the military to operate from small, bare-bones bases in the Pacific, so that its forces can disperse to in case their main bases are targeted by Chinese ballistic missiles. The idea is to have enough US bases and air force capabilities peppered throughout the region, so that China would be too surrounded to safely attack in the event of a conflict. 4. One specific example is Saipan. The USA Air Force will expand the existing Saipan International Airport, to accommodate cargo, fighter, and tanker aircraft, along with up to 700 support personnel. 5. In addition to Saipan, the Air Force plans to send aircraft on regular deployments to bases ranging from Australia to India as part of its bulked-up force in the Pacific. These plans include regular deployments to Royal Australian Air Force bases at Darwin and Tyndall, Changi East Air Base in Singapore, Korat Air Base in Thailand, Trivandrum in India. Other possible bases include, Kubai Point and Porto Princesa in the Philippines, and airfields in Indonesia and Malaysia. Here is list of steps taken by India. 1. From roads to military equipments, India is upgrading its defences along Indo-China border. The Indian Army's operational capability along the China border will be getting a major flip, as two tank brigades are soon to be deployed in that region. According to latest reports, Defence Ministry has cleared the plan to raise six new armoured regiments, that will be equipped with roughly 350 tanks. In addition, three mechanized infantry battalions will be raised, with 180 BMP-2 infantry combat vehicles. 2. Defense Ministry has also approved the induction of a third regiment of BrahMos for deployment in northeastern sector along the China border. The BrahMos is a ramjet supersonic cruise missile having a range of 290 kilometers. Each regiment of BrahMos consists of around 65 missiles five mobile autonomous launchers and supporting equipment. 3. India and the United States have agreed in principle to share military logistics. Washington and New Delhi have largely agreed to the terms of a new agreement that allows the two militaries to use each other's land, air and naval bases for resupplies, repair and rest. 4. India is ramping up its submarine fleet. India plans to induct about 20 new submarines in the next few years. Some of these submarines will be armed with indigenous K-4 missile for nuclear strike. To know more, see above cards. 5. 
India is participating in Exercise Malabar, a trilateral naval exercise involving the United States and Japan. Originally a bilateral exercise between India and the US, Japan became a permanent partner in 2000. Despite the statement by a top US Navy officer that Malabar was not directly aimed at China, there is very little doubt about who is the target. The exercise is conducted only about 400 kilometers from the contested Senkaku Islands. Scenarios include hunting for Chinese submarines, ships and countering hostile Chinese Navy. 6. India is providing active help to Vietnam, which is hotly contesting the South China Sea dispute against China. India has agreed on supplying ships to Vietnam. The sale of at least four patrol vessels comes as part of the $100 million credit line for military equipments extended to Vietnam by India. Vietnam needs at least seven more such ships, and Indian PSU, GRSE is expected to get the order for the rest of the ships as well. Talks are an advanced stage with Vietnam for export of BrahMos. BrahMos, considered to be the most deadly anti-ship missile will be very helpful for Vietnam in countering the Chinese Navy in the event of a conflict. 7. Like Vietnam, India is providing support to the Philippines, which is also party to the South China Sea dispute against China. India has agreed to export two light frigates, about 3,500 tons each at a total cost of 2,000 crore rupees to them. 8. India has activated a new data reception and tracking station in Vietnam. It has been linked with another station in Indonesia. India's defense establishment will get a strategic toehold in the South China Sea region, as the station can be used to track objects like aircrafts and missiles in the adjacent region. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting. Kindly provide your feedback in the comment section, this will help us improve.